that's what that's what he said. He wants Cameron Smith putting. He wants his Cameron Smith moniker. That's what you want in the first. And then the window goes. <laughs> I think you can go mate, he's, he's looking at what he's doing, he shouldn't be walking up there anyway. Not bad mate, not near the car path. Shot tracer will be right on the ground. Shot tracer will struggle to pick that one up. That finish up, Scotty. Just hit mine. Yeah. Tear up his driver T. T up hole, this one. All the mud. That's a problem off the tee, isn't it? Because you don't hit them down on it. Uh, if that, I don't know about the bunkers, Bredo. Oh, they are. They're all GUA, yep. So, Brett went in that bunker. But GUR today. He's got to come over it. It's hard with this mud short of the green. what's happened. Just rolled up onto the edge there. We'll stay there for Scotty's one. Oh, I've got the fringe. Still got a bit of check, mate. I was just saying how hard it was with the mud being short. Yep. Be a bit long.
got all these sort of cuts in them, they're trying to repair them after the floods. We don't see Andrew do that very often. Six. Didn't quite get off the middle, it was good. Yeah, maybe just off. Yeah, you're trying to use the use of this. Pretty quite different. <laughs> so I tend to just look at it and I'll look over the top. Once you've got it there. Swing mate. I shouldn't have told you about that slow back swing. Ripper. Yeah. But then between it shot it again. We are recording once that red dot's there, it's recording. Are you a little nine or wet? See in the background there of the trees, that brown area is where the water got up to. It's crazy to think we'd be standing in probably a good couple of meters of water right now. Yeah, nice chip, mate. Mate. 
Take it out for you guys. Um, yeah, we'll grab it. It's all right, mate. It's only for the it's only for the drives that it really matters. It's got his head dirty. Good read, mate. <laughs> it went, it went right to left and it went left to right. <laughs> Solid. That's the sort of green ready we want to see at Barn Boogle. Yeah. Good three, mate. It's a good yeah, shot in there. Not my, uh, not my Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, yeah, just if you can two putt it all the time. No three putts is, is the rule. Pretty good little chip here. Well done, mate. Good up and down. Shot, mate. Lovely. <laughs> Actually, I'll leave this recording because I'm going to try and do the four shot traces in one. tee up this hole. This is where totally underwater here two weeks ago. The guys have done an amazing job to to get it up. Scotty waiting. I'll just pause this. Right, Scotty coming up for his second into the par five. Good chance he can do a good swing. Looks like a good swing. Straight at it. It's a little bit short but I think it's on, yeah, just on the front edge. Nothing wrong with that. Right. Going against Caddy's advice. I suppose you only hit your 9 on about 108 last hole, so same one. 108 to the pin, hitting a little 9 on. Pins at the back. Should be all right. I don't think we would have got that, unfortunately, bouncing, but it's okay. This approach on the course, you can see over there, the car path, the map, we've been using it as a par three on Wednesday. It's the first time they've opened it up back to the final. Not 
too bad. Should be on the front of the green. It's hard hitting because we've got a compulsory tee up. Got Brett just short and left here. Taking on the Cameron Smith uh, inspiration. Yeah. Every good shot gets a hit. Look Great putting. <laughs> Sorry, Neil. 